Okay, I've replaced the FEP film and I've attempted another resin print of this sphenoid bone. Hey, that looks, that looks like it's all there, right? Very brittle. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Why am I printing out a sphenoid bone in <clears throat> clear green resin? Um, it's because it's a difficult bone to teach and I'm trying different ways of doing this. I really want to do this with an ethmoid bone, the hardest bone in the skull to um, understand where it is and its shape and stuff, but I'm really pleased this looks really good. I need to cure it in UV for a while next. I was wondering what that smell was in here because normally resin printing smells quite nice. Um, then I remembered that I'm an anatomist and I'm wearing a lab coat. <clears throat> yeah, that smell. There you go the matching ethmoid bone. And the purpose for printing out these bones in resin is, well, this is life size. It's got much of the detail on there. Um, I don't know if I've got any individual um, other than plastic ethmoid bones. It's a really difficult bone to teach. It's a really difficult bone to demonstrate. Um, its shape and structure and where it is in the skull. So having a physical tough thing, I can grab out and say, hey, this is the ethmoid bone, this is what it looks like, this is where it is, there's the nasal cavity, there's the cranium. I do like resin printing. The idea that you're making physical things from that pool of liquid is cool. I know resin printing is messier than normal FDM printing. Look at this. Isn't it cool? It's, but it's, um, I don't know, to a certain extent, it's a simpler process. It's very high def, it's... Uh, sure, there is quite a bit of cleanup, so it helps working in a university and having labs to clean up in. Um, you know what I should have done? I should have put a sinus inside the sphenoid bone. So these are two single, as in they're not paired, midline structures within the skull. Uh, this is anterior. Here are those pterygoid plates down here. Uh, so if we're looking inside the cranial cavity, they go together kind of something like that. There's a gap in between which would be filled by the uh, the uh, palatine bones. Can you see the ethmoid bone? So there's the ethmoid bone, there's the sphenoid bone. That's where that sits in there. And... That's where that sits in there. That perpendicular plate there, that's part of the ethmoid bone.
I really miss working in the lab at the bench before this job um, that's what I did, I did research I, I worked at the bench with cells with tissues, with RNA with good research questions trying to find answers to those questions and I loved the technical difficulties the, the intricacies the, the problems at the bench I mean getting the funding working in the group finding answers, presenting those answers, discussion with colleagues, that's all part of it, I enjoy that as well, but I really enjoy being at the bench, doing doing the things. What do you reckon? Uh, do, 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 do. First try to climb of the year. Should be easy enough, right? Right. Are you liking this? Yeah, love it. Okay, cool. Oh, the rock feels all right. A tricky start, this isn't it? That was probably the hard bit, probably the ivy bit. A bit hollow. I would like to get back to proper lab research but the problem is I also really like teaching anatomy and Teaching anatomy isn't kind of, it's, it's not like teaching other subjects. I mean, usually if you're a university lecturer and you're doing research, you might give occasional lectures or regular lectures. Okay. Or you might run a module or a double module or a couple of modules, something like that, right? But with anatomy, especially with medicine, we're teaching anatomy every week from the beginning of September, sometimes the end of August through the whole year all the way round to the middle of July and then we run reset exams in August and then we start again um, and you know lots of courses want anatomy which means I teach anatomy on lots of courses and manage the anatomy on lots of courses Yeah you're on Bele, climb when you're ready I really enjoy teaching anatomy. I really enjoy doing lab-based research. Both are hard, both are time consuming. The truth is, I gotta pick one. Um, and the job I got now, being a university lecturer that teaches anatomy, wow, really lucky. Um, you know, you just don't find those jobs. I really feed off the students. It's, you know, you get huge job satisfaction feeling useful, helping other people along their paths. And the people I teach, the students, are such interesting people that they make me want to do better. You know, they want to do better. They work hard. I feel like I should work hard as well. And I do. And I feel rewarded by all of that. Oh, it's really nice. I thought when I was watching you do it, it was going to be a nightmare. I was going to oh, I made it look that bad. No, I just thought it was going to be really overhanging and steep and a bit awkward and too much Yankee on my arm and it's going to be horrible. But it was fine. I thought it was going to be a proper cut, that was yeah. A, yeah, it was a little bit of a bit. The gear's good though. Really nice, it was really dry nice. Helps, and remembering what and I just thought, oh, oh, I, um, oh, there's a nice little finger mm. pole around there and there's a nice little. I thought the ivy was going to like. Chuck a loose rock at so me. So is this the V diff? That you... This is just a V diff, yeah. Nice and 
Well, you know, a bit, bit of an effort, but nothing too serious. No, that was really nice. Oh, yeah. It still hurts, but it's been hurting all day anyway. But that wasn't, there was nothing on there that I couldn't manage. It was all kind of quite mm. close. Yeah, it's nice. It's all there. Oh, my hands are freezing though, jeez. Uh, I think the reason I'm thinking about this is partly because I've been faffing about in the lab, but also um, I talk to students and students are wondering which path to follow, which, which route to go down. And I think there are a number of paths that I could have followed and I'd have enjoyed any of them. They'd have all been good for me. And I'm on this one and it's good. And I could have been on a different one and that would have been good. And once you're on a path, if you really want to, you can go down another path, you know. Wow, this is good. <laughs> in the book as well starting the year tried climbing and we hadn't um yeah just i'd never got around to doing that before. Stuff, in a fight with chalk factory, yeah. factory. they're confidence chalk